Right now that I've figured out. Where am I supposed to go from here? Well, I got up here. Is there a gap in the fence? inside. Well, what would be the point doing that? Unless there's a Boxes to move. What? What is the point? Because there's nothing to do here, so. move the stuff about but unless I have somewhere to put it this is kind of pointless or is it just a case I've got to push that one out since the main thing at the side Be quiet. <laughs> 
Amazingly, the dog was even uglier than the guard. I sure was glad we had a fence between us. Uh, Be quiet. It wasn't choosy about what it ate. There was no time Will to go you shut up. Tables. Be quiet. Oh, there's a guard there. Hey, what kept you? Oh, just chatting to Boris about old girlfriends. See the helicopter? Yep, Cesaro's favorite airline. George, you need to find a remote. That's how the gates work, I think. Hug the wall. Silence. That was either a sign or there was just no one behind the door. Ah, this wasn't the way in. There was a small button to press. The area behind the gate looked like a small store area. Some kind of handle had been wedged into the door at the back. I want to press this. The button opened the gate, but it closed again when I let go. Hmm. And that wasn't quite right. There wasn't a reason to try that. I had no reason to try that. Okay, I've got. I need an eco for this, I think. I just don't trust there to be like no guards anywhere. Oh. Well, there's no guards down here. It was a remote with a single button on it. It was a small device with a button. Maybe just the thing I was looking for. The glove compartment was empty. Must have run out of gloves. 
Looks like somebody had started to repair the Jeep and got bored. Not this time. Once I'm out, when the music's not playing and I'm out the courtyard, I think that's when I can move freely. wasn't a reason to try that. Hey, Nico, see any more guards you fancy? You owe me big time for that one, George. I still haven't found a way to open these gates. Come on, George, kick ass. I heard the guards were potting in. That petrol woman is going to be here any minute. Shazam. Wonderful, George. Uh-oh, here come the guards. Let's hide. Nico, see any more guards you fancy? You owe me big time for that one, George. Hey, Nico, will you press that button? What is it with you and buttons, George? <laughs> Just keep your finger on it until I get out again, okay? Now, which one's the lucky one? I needed all the luck I could get. This is a piece of coal. I thought I'd take the handle. I was improvising every step of the way. I've got the, the handle, yeah. The Jeep descended to the ground. <sighs> the Jeep still wouldn't budge. Hey, Nico. See any more guards you fancy? You owe me big time for that one, George. Oh, hang on. That wouldn't work here. I tried the doors, but they were locked. about it but decided not to do it you press on that a handbrake on by any chance I let the handbrake off <clears throat> oops there goes my no claims bonus
Come on, Nico. Oh, hang on. After you, Nico. This is definitely not a case of a ladies first. <clears throat> you want me to test it out? Well, obviously. George? Whoa! Nico, watch out below! Jeez, only just made it. You were right. Of course. I'm not stupid. You're going to have to find another way in if you can. Okay, George. Oh, goody. I thought the bracket might come in handy. Through the glass, I could just make out a small storeroom. There was a small gap in the window, but it wouldn't open. It was awkward, but I managed to get the bracket into the gap and force the window open. It was a guess. Here goes. A dented and rusted suit of armor. There was no way I could walk around in that. The armor was old and rusty. I didn't want to touch it in case it made a noise. It was a large barrel, probably for storing ale or wine. They certainly got through a lot of drink here. The faucet was too stiff to move. I couldn't budge it. I turned the faucet, but nothing happened. The barrel was empty. So I guess this one isn't. Not this time. Don't think I've got anything that will... hear anything moving on the other side of the door. So, this Petra, they say she's a bit of a one. Oh yes, takes pleasure in killing. Regards it as an art form. Mm, nasty. One poor guy she tortured took him a week to die. How'd she do that then? They called it the Donor Kebab. Oh, you don't mean... Da, right. Everything just the same. Apart from the salad, of course. And the pita bread? Obviously. Why is his teeth clutching through his mouth? Like them? Mm, short blonde hair. That's all I know. I never got closer. Mm, don't blame you. She might get ideas. To right. Chicken nuggets, for example. Hot dog and beans. Ouch. If they saw me, I was done for. I had to find a way to walk around without attracting attention. But for now, I had to play the quiet mouse.
Um, I'm assuming there's going to be a guard around here somewhere. Did you hear something? Not sure. Was it from upstairs? Sounded like it. You take the side stairs and I'll go up here. If there's anyone there, we'll have them trapped. I had to hide or get caught. Oh, I'm not doing anything. Did you see anything up the side stairs? Yet nothing. Stay alert anyway. This place gives me the creeps. I couldn't hear anything moving on the other side of the door. I couldn't open the door. Damn it. All was quiet. Couldn't open the door. Nothing but silence behind the door. Oh, just another locked door. One of these will be open. Nothing but silence behind the door. Just another locked door. Nothing but silence behind the door. Oh, for Pete's sake. The door was shut fast and wouldn't open. This one's got to be open. <clears throat> All was quiet. The dresser was locked. Even for an antique, the lock was sturdy. I picked up the hairdryer. Apart from a range of tacky clothes, there was nothing left in the case. I picked up the wig. At the very least, it would stop her from using it again to impersonate me. Well, I know what I've got to do. It kind of gives it away. you got to impersonate her, I'm guessing. It was an ornate hand basin. The fixtures and fittings were very old. The hand basin had hot and cold running water. Cold running water anyway. The wig didn't need drying when it wasn't wet. 
Um, that wasn't a good idea. I picked the wig up again while I thought about what I should do. I need bleach or something, I'm guessing. That wasn't a good idea. I had no reason to do that. Mm. Not this time. Oops. That wasn't appropriate. There's nothing else in here. Oh, okay, for the time being. Oops, did not mean to fall down. Nothing but silence behind the door. Just another locked door. Should have listened in on the door, never mind. A chef was cutting vegetables at a chopping board. He was struggling and didn't look too happy. Hi there. Do you have a moment? A moment? Well now, let me think. I have 50 dinners to cook for 50 fat guzzling gods. With pudding, I might add. Plus one vegan speciality de la maison for Madame Petra. Plus one macrobiotic for senior sensitive skin Susaro. I've got no assistants. I've got a kitchen out of the Stone Age. And she asks, do I have a moment? Uh, no, no, man, I do not have a flaming moment. Just get out of my kitchen. The answer's no, then. Yes, the answer's no. Who the hell are you anyway? Uh, Susan. Susan? What kind of a pathetic girly name is that? It's a, a name for a girl. Well, change it. I don't like it. 